So in that phone call with a 911 dispatcher, you're hearing the voice of the Lakewood Church shooter, Janice Moreno. Yeah, so KPRC has listened to more than 20 911 calls spanning several years, all by Moreno or about her. Brittany Jeffers joins us live near Lakewood Church. So Brittany, what are those calls about? Yeah, and there is certainly a lot to sort through with these calls. There are calls to 911 from neighbors. Morena herself even calls 911, claiming that her ex-husband's posing as an FBI agent. But there are several phone calls made to 911 dispatchers where you can hear the concern in Moreno's family members' voices. I've received several very disturbing emails from my former daughter-in-law. And the language is beyond harassment. I mean, it, it's, it's horrible. And it's very threatening and very abusive. And I, I'm also afraid because she has a five-year-old child and a known diagnosis of schizophrenia. This is just one 911 call to Conroe Police. It's one of 20 calls that we uncovered dating back to December of 2019. Over the course of the years, Moreno's arguments with neighbors intensified. One neighbor calling police several times. She sprayed me down with a hose. We've had numerous problems with her nuisance in the neighborhood. She said guns and everything else. I'm just stressed to the max. My husband comes home strapped on a gun. On the same day as as this neighbor's call, Moreno then called 911, saying this to dispatchers. Hey, if I go outside with my gun? No, 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 don't do that. Don't get yourself in trouble like that. Just stay in the house. Now, again, this is just a very small portion of those calls that were made to 911. We have more on our website. If you visit clicktohouston.com and search for this article. Now, we also want to point out earlier in the week, the pastor of Lakewood Church, Joel Osteen, posted a message on social media letting church members know that those in-person church services will resume over the weekend on Sunday morning. Reporting live, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC 2 News. Pretty, thank you for that. Now we got a 